one more question, which is the draft, the pro wrestler draft. Now, the field is anybody in the world of professional wrestling who is active today. If you were starting your own company, obviously business counts because you want to make money. Um, fandom counts because you want some popularity. But who would be the number one pick in all of the wrestlers active today in your pro wrestling draft? And uh, actually, Kyle, we'll, we'll start with you. Wow. Wow. Um this kind of flies in the face of what we just talked about that like can you actually just build a company around one guy i mean like what's the goal here like like a long-term thing or are you just trying am i trying to just draw a big number at one show what am i trying to do here you're 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 a small business and you want to be a bigger business okay well can i i mean i don't know can i afford dwayne johnson's price probably not um <laughs> Well, and, and he's not active, so, so, so we'll, yeah, we'll take okay. him off the All table. Right. He's not active. Austin's not active. He's, he's you know, because okay. they, they would so, probably still be the first two guys all these years later. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. This is really like tough. Like, it is because, like, I feel like Roman Reigns has the most cachet, right? Because people see him as the face of the – as the poster child of the number one current brand. So if you poached him, people would think that's a very significant thing that you did. But do I think like Roman Reigns is the most like talented guy in the business? No, probably I don't. Um, I mean, if you're thinking long term, and plus he might have one foot, who knows how long he wants to keep doing this. Yep. I don't know. Is it MJF? Is it MJF? I mean, he's what, 26 years old? That's younger than Rock when he hit his stride. That's younger than Triple H when he hit his stride. He also might Kevin Durant on you, though, at, at some point. That's true, but I kind of you know, <laughs> I, I, I really don't want anyone sticking No, those, those are good guesses. Right? Anyway. What do you think? Yeah. Hmm. Man, that is really tough. I, you know, I'm, I happen to be wearing a Brian Danielson shirt right now. So I'm looking at myself in the stream thinking, should I just go with him? We, like, obviously, <laughs> he's not going to wrestle probably a long while more. But he's also a guy who's, like, so brilliant behind the scenes that he could help you out with the growth, you know, yeah. and and training people and stuff like that. So there'd definitely be some motivation in picking him there. I think just pure star power, I'd have to go with Roman probably just because yeah. – if, if you just take the public at large and you're starting a wrestling company and you sign him, that's going to, you know, turn eyeballs. People know who he is now. He's been all, all over the media. So, boy, I'd say it's tough to not go with Roman right now. Not that he's no, like my a, favorite wrestler, but just star power wise. It's a, it's a great pick, but I, I like the MJF pick because you're looking at sort of opportunity and someone who's betting on themselves constantly. You're going to have to pay him you know, probably not as much as you'd have to pay Roman. So there's a, there's a, a thing there with a, with a budget. All of that is interesting. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I think those are probably the two best picks. There's, there's a punk thing, but you know, punk did retire and he lost the love of wrestling. Some of it forced out of him by WWE. You know, there's a Moxie, there's a Danielson. Um, there's a Braun breaker if you want to go there, but you know, that's, that's sort of, uh, probably a little bit down the list, but anyway,